So here I am at the Broomfield Common Cemetery. Um, I'm actually in the Long's Peak section, so named because of the unimpeded view you have of that 14,000 foot summit that dominates our landscape around here. Now the truth is, I would much rather be hiking up Long's Peak right now than kind of hanging out in a graveyard. But over the years, I've found great value from time to time of just kind of wandering through a cemetery. You can't look at these tombstones too long without realizing that one day, one of them will have your name on it. Why is it we seem to be so good at planning for all of life's contingencies, but ignore one of those great life inevitabilities that we call death? So what does happen when we die? If you were to survey these tombstones here, you would get a sense that people have all kinds of ideas about what happens. There's one out there that speaks about hot rod heaven they're going to go to. Others of uh, becoming part of the wind. But what does Jesus have to say about the subject? After all, he's the one person, the only person, who has gone through death, conquered it, and come back on the other side to tell us about it. What does he say about what awaits us after death? What happens when I die? Well, that's the subject we're going to be looking at this week in our services. Not only what happens, but how does that inform how we live today? Hope to see you then.